Hey, it's the Circle of Hope Pastors with this video cast where we're trying to answer questions that were actually asked. So if you have any uh, questions, feel free to ask us and we'll try to answer them in this format or perhaps in another one. The question at hand today is, what's it like to go on a retreat? And the kind of retreat we're talking about isn't like a team building retreat or a work retreat or a, you know with a lot of people. It's a personal time of solitude with God usually in nature or something like that, where you're especially carving out time to connect and to relate and to uh, be with God. Um, the pastors have all enjoyed these retreats and so have many of you. Joshua recently has. Why don't you get us started talking about what it, what it was like for you even this last time? Yeah, that's a good way to think about it is how do you go and be in the silence? How do you be in the solitude? How do you do prayer in those contexts. And for me, I was going um, a little bit of a, a variation on my flow because sometimes I do a personal retreat for a, a work day. Sometimes it's 24 hours, 30 hours is kind of my standard. Uh, this time it was two nights and in, in three days in the, in the Pennsylvania wilderness. And I was trying to, you know, look at Jesus examples when he retreats, he goes to the wilderness. And I was going in with a bunch of questions about grief and loss, a lot of feelings, and um, I was hoping to do some processing with God. And the the response that I sensed was when I was, the quieter I got, the more I was into the silence, the more I heard the fullness of creation. And the more I, I was going into the solitude, the more I realized that I was, I was together with God and I was connected. So I, I received this sense of belonging both to creation as, as part of this creation and, and belonging to God. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful time. Yeah, I love the way you described that earlier this week of it belonging to creation and just like that incredible sense of that. And I think that's what you get when you spend enough time to wait and see what's going to come out. You know, you didn't, you didn't go expecting that, but, you, but that's what you got. Uh, and that, and that was the, maybe that was the healing you needed. It's that kind of... Um, uh, expectation that kind of it, it's creating the space to see what God's gonna do and what's gonna happen inside of you and and for me probably the biggest effort is 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 the carving you know and and the discipline of it I'm not always ready I, there's always a lot of things to do I have young children it's never convenient and so the the the, the specialness of, of going away and and being by myself with God is you know just in escaping just in like getting out it already achieves something but then in staying that long even even like like i thought like you said 30 hours because like at about 24 hours i'm getting antsy it's time to go back and and holding on a little bit longer to see what god might say or to try to like kind of let it uh, fulminate culminate you know um is uh is really good but it's also hard yeah, I agree with that, Ben. And by the way, uh, nice beard trim. I, uh, I'm enjoying. Uh, I'm I'm enjoying you talking just because I'm looking at your beard. Um, the retreat for me is a way to get away from uh, this kind of life where I'm making decisions and reacting to things based on immediate stimulus. Uh, sometimes you're just doing what needs to get done because it needs to get done. Like I was walking um, to the office the other day. And for some reason, because I have a tiny attention span, um, I decided not to look about whether the light was green or red. And I was just walking right into the traffic on Broad Street and cars had to swerve out of their way to avoid killing me. And, you know, I jumped out of the way. That's kind of the reaction of my day to day. Like there's trouble. I need to take care of it. The retreat slows me down and, and lowers that sense of urgency so I can actually reflect and think about the things that uh, um, I need to actually do in my life as a, as a pastor, as a father, as a husband, as a, as a child of God. It really helps me um, reset my priorities in some way and bring some of that stillness and calmness and, and um, lack of anxious urgency to my life. And I think that's really important for uh, um, following God and leading too. So that's some of the good stuff that I'm getting on going on a retreat. I agree, Johnny. Um, I need the lack of distraction too, and I need to build it into my schedule. Um, a big revelation 
keep getting from God that I get in solitude is what I produce. And I, so I was able to take a day of solitude this week. That came to me again, just the, um, I was sitting outside in my little square of a uh, South Philly backyard and I was listening to the birds and reading and feeling the sun. And um, this little this little bird kind of fell out of the sky. I think it couldn't fly and it, um, a while, but I had this, the sense that God cares about this little bird, just like Jesus said himself. And um, this little bird couldn't even help itself. And uh, it, I think the message from God for me in that was that I belong and that I am loved. I actually do. And I, I need that space to just be with God and, and belong. I need that reminder. Thank you, Rachel, and thanks for all of you sharing, really, um, some depth and some experience that you're having on the retreat. I feel even uh, encouraged by listening to you, and I'm grateful that everyone who's watching this is. If you liked it, share it around, tell your friends about it. If you have a question that you want us to answer, feel free to send it to us. We'll do our best to answer the question. Um, so, again, I'm grateful. I'm glad we're connected. Peace out.